Hello, hello, and welcome to What is Crypto? I'm Matt, and this is Crypto. Today, I'm gonna to be talking to you about Casper, ticker signal KAS. So if that sounds like it could be for you, then smash that like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Cheers, legends. Let's get into it. So firstly, I'm gonna have a quick look at the charts. A lot of people have been saying Casper's time is done, but I couldn't disagree more. What I'm seeing with Casper is I'm seeing a huge amount of consolidation in this descending triangle kind of pattern. We have an enormous amount of support coming anywhere down from the 11 cent mark to the 10 cent mark, even going down as far as 9.7 cents. Now we have come down a decent way from all time highs down from around just under the 20 cent at like the 19 cent mark down to currently sitting around the 12.2 cent mark. We did go all the way down to 10 cents and I was very vocal in stating that anything sub 11 cents was an absolute bargain. So I've been buying up this dip. Now I'm hugely bullish on Casper and I'm hugely bullish on its price action fairly soon. So if you wanna have a look back at the 200 simple moving average, now it would go further back, but it's only charted from here. So you can say that at least from around this mark here, say in early March, we have been on top of the 200 SMA. So a couple of times we met it as support. Now we have been on top of the 200 simple moving average for over a year and we broke below it recently on the around the 25th of April is when we kind of started to close below it. Now recently we've been pushing back up and I think once we reclaim that it will be hugely bullish for Casper. Now also I think this will coincide with us breaking out of this resistance line. Now that is in the descending triangle pattern that we are forming at the moment. So I think one of the big reasons why Casper has been lagging a little is mainly because of Bitcoin. Bitcoin has been consolidating. So if you look at the Bitcoin chart, you can see that we had so much growth. So we went up really without a correction at all from the 38K mark all the way up to around the 73, 76K mark. So it was around like the 80, 90% growth. So I mean, we can't really complain too much when we have been consolidating sideways. Now, what I'm seeing on the Bitcoin chart, and I'm talking about Bitcoin, is Bitcoin is super important when you're talking about any altcoin, as obviously altcoins follow the path of Bitcoin largely. When Bitcoin is bullish, altcoins are very bullish. And I think that we have seen something bullish in the charts for Bitcoin. So I think that's gonna correlate onto Casper, and that's why I'm talking about it today. So we have been consolidating since around early March. Now, there's a couple of interesting things that I'm seeing in the chart here. So I think we are are really in a bull flag. So I'm seeing that we have been consolidating in this channel, which I've marked with these light blue lines. And we are also having a significant amount of support at around the 60K mark. Now, I don't think we are gonna go back to the 56K mark, but look, we could retest there. However, by and large, the range we've been playing in has been from 73 down to 56 mostly between 60 and 67K. So what we were doing is we were printing lower highs and lower lows, as you can see marked here. But what we have just done is potentially put in a higher low and also a higher high. So we wanna see Bitcoin hold above 60K mark. Ideally for me, it would come down, retest around the 64K mark and then proceed higher than the 67K mark. That would be hugely bullish. We wanna see Bitcoin closing above 67K, and then we wanna see Bitcoin eventually closing above 73K. And once we have a retest of that 73K mark, I think our price growth is gonna go something like that. Now with Casper, I think Casper is going to follow suit. And once Bitcoin starts to break out, I think Casper is really going to run. There's been so much talk recently about monetary debasement, inflation, the loss of purchasing power. And I think people are understanding that Bitcoin is super important. And I think in time, if everything goes to plan, I think Casper could potentially be another financial tool of key importance as well. So I am quite heavily invested in Casper and I'm hugely bullish on Casper's prospects. What I wanna see though is that Bitcoin pattern that we talked about and I also wanna see the reduction in Bitcoin dominance. So I wanna see Bitcoin going up, but I wanna see Bitcoin dominance going down. I've talked about this a few times, but I'll touch on it quickly again. In essence, these vertical yellow lines are the Bitcoin halvings and what we can see is that after the Bitcoin halvings, 
Bitcoin dominance decreases quite significantly. Now, over this period of time, the price of Bitcoin is increasing, but the price growth of altcoins is just increasing more. So comparatively, Bitcoin is bleeding to altcoins. Both of them are increasing in value, but altcoins are far exceeding the growth of Bitcoin in general. Now we can see that it usually takes a few months after the halving before Bitcoin dominance starts to really drop off. Now this has happened over the last couple of cycles. By and large, the pattern is a few months after the Bitcoin halving, we do have a downward trend. Now looking at current dates, what we can see is that we are still going up. So Bitcoin dominance is still increasing. What I wanna see is for us to break down out of this channel and then drop down towards that 40% mark. Now, I don't know if we'll hit 40% mark, but in previous cycles, it's been a pretty good place to hit. So once again, as Bitcoin starts to increase in value and Bitcoin dominance starts to decrease, heading down towards the 40% mark, that should mark the start of altcoin season. And when altcoin season happens, it is that parabolic price growth that if you've been through an altcoin season, you'd be all too familiar with. And if you haven't been through an altcoin season, I'm sure you're all too excited to see. So anyway, that's my two cents for the moment. Just a quick little recap, we have a huge amount of support here. If we do come back down below the 11 cent mark, it is an absolute steal of a buy. I do think anything below 12 cents is a buy still. What I wanna see is this break out of this trend. I also wanna see us break and hold above the 200 SMA. I also wanna see Bitcoin dominance start to decrease. And I think if all of those things start to happen, Casper is gonna have an incredible run. Perfect, thank you so much legends. Don't forget to like, subscribe, Subscribe, drop a comment down below. I want to hear what you're buying, what you're selling. If you're bullish on Casper, if you're bullish on any altcoins or memes or whatever you really want to talk about. And just quickly, I've also started a Discord. Now it is completely free, but to avoid people kind of coming in there and bots and scammers, what I will do is you don't have to pay, but if you want to find my Twitter account, give me a follow and then send me a message on Twitter. I will have a look at that and then I'll send you a code to get into the Discord. Totally free. At the moment and if you join for free you'll never have to pay it's not hugely active now but i want it to be in the future and i'm pretty excited to start growing my discord so we've got about 15 members in there currently and i think after we start to grow it towards 50 to 100 members then i might start cutting off the people that are allowed to enter for free but yeah awesome thank you so much legends for watching once again like subscribe drop a comment down below and as always i will catch you in the next one